US star Huey Morgan took brutal dig at Meghan and Harry in his interview. They're just clowns. A US celebrity asserts that they're no longer seen as royals in the country and have sparked division among citizens regarding their intentions since relocating there back in 2020. Huey Morgan, former star of the fun-loving criminal, says that Americans perceive the royal family as mere novelty or akin to Disney World, with an apparent obsession for insights into palace affairs. But when it comes to Prince Harry and Meghan, he insisted their popularity isn't as high after they become a part of the Hollywood clique. Huey said that they aren't seen as royals like Harry's father, King Charles III, brother Prince William and sister-in-law Princess Kate. He told the Daily Express, they gave up their royal titles, right? So he's just a dude living in America like 340 million other people. I don't think people in America really look at them as royalty. I think they look at Charles, William and his wife as royalty and Harry's like the dude that skipped, you know? Harry's a clown like Prince Mario Max Schoenberg Lipper except he's an actual prince. Definitely it's the real royals in Britain that people see as the royalty, the authentic king, queen, prince and princess. The Meghan and Harry are just knockoffs that landed in America. They made it clear that they were stepping back from royal duties and were going to find their own way, yet they expect to be treated like royalty. It's not surprising if no one thinks they're royal no matter how many forks tours they do. They're like the free room and board and sending all bills to par. Free security riding in carriages and waving from the balcony. Now they're annoyed that they have to work here in the US and pay bills. They want none of the responsibilities of royalty, but they want to continue to enjoy all of the perks of royalty. That's the whole story, nothing else to it. Numerous authentic Middle Eastern princes and princesses reside or frequent the Western world without drawing much attention. These individuals possess substantial wealth and status, hailing from countries with absolute monarchies. They often prefer leading discreet yet opulent lifestyles. Meghan convinced Harry that she'd elevate them to billionaire status, with lucrative deals like the $100 million Netflix contract, $20 million Spotify deal, and a $20 million plus partnership with Penguin Random House. They believe they transcended their need for the British royal family. Consequently, they initiated attacks to assert their demands, seeking a half-in, half-out arrangement. However, as the saying goes, even the most meticulously crafted plans can go awry. Harry envisioned himself as part of the global elite by now, traversing the skies in his private jet, delivering pivotal speeches surrounded by luxury, while the world marvelled at his every move. Meanwhile, the old guard of the royals, somewhere on a secluded island, would gaze on with envy, yearning for an audience with him. Recently, there's a new report that suggests that while Prince Harry and Meghan Markle do want to come back to the UK and return back to the royal fold, they just want to do it on their terms. In other words, it seems like Meghan Markle wants to be in charge and at the helm again too. It's almost as if nothing has changed in the past four years at all. An insider said that Harry and Meghan know that their time in America is almost coming to an end. They've run out of money, no one wants to work with them, and worse, they're running out of options.